Aside from our previous video, there is still some information you need to know about American Fuzzy Lob. If your rabbit is dirty, don't give it a bath because this can make the rabbit very stressed. You may use a damp towel to spot clean the dirt away. Wipe the rabbit down with a towel and use a dry one afterward. Trim your rabbit's nails regularly and also check its mouth for overgrown teeth. Care Requirements Rabbits are clean animals when it comes to grooming themselves, and American Fuzzy Lops are no exception. These rabbits do not require daily grooming unless they are going through a molt. When this happens, simply run your fingers through their wool to work out any tangles and debris that may have gotten stuck in their coat. You may also use a pet-specific brush if you don't want to use your fingers, but under no circumstances should you fully bathe your rabbit, this causes them far too much stress. If you find a stain on your fuzzy lops coat, you can spot clean it with a damp cloth. Their diet should consist of 70-80% to hay and grass with the rest of their meal consisting of fresh fruits and vegetables. Make sure your rabbit's enclosure is dung-free clean and always has fresh water at its disposal. If your rabbit's enclosure is outdoors, always be wary of the temperatures and weather forecast, as these factors can be a potential danger to your furry animal. Whether your enclosure is indoors or out, it's best to keep this little guy happy with plenty of free time outside their cage. American Fuzzy Lops are active rabbits who love to run and jump around while basking in the sunlight, so a fenced backyard is recommended. If you live in an area where winters are particularly harsh and your Fuzzy Lop is indoors, they will still benefit from having time outside of their enclosures playing with their toys and cozying up with their favorite human. Temperament These rabbits love to play. Their energetic nature makes them ideal for families with younger children who have never had a pet before or for couples who want to take the next step in their relationship by caring for an adorable animal. Save for the initial purchases of their enclosures and the cost of the actual rabbit, they are relatively low-maintenance animals. They don't require much grooming and simply need food, water, and plenty of affection to keep them happy and healthy. Purchasing two rabbits instead of one may give both rabbits another year or two of life, as animals tend to live longer if they have some company to pass the time. However, this means their enclosure should be sufficient to hold two fully grown rabbits with plenty of space to spare. Their playfulness is best seen outdoors where they have plenty of space to bounce around and eat plenty of pesticide-free grass. American Fuzzy Lop rabbits love to hang out indoors and hang out with their families on their own watch, that is to say, whenever they feel like it. With plenty of playtime and toys, your Fuzzy Lop will be a wonderful addition to a growing family. The ideal food of captive bred rabbits is composed of 70 to 80 percent hay. Hay is important in their diet to grind their ever-growing teeth, keep their digestive system healthy, and maintain regular movements. You may also feed it rabbit pellets, vegetables and fruits, just cut it into small minutes. Keep fresh water and hay inside the rabbit's cage. Hay is rough and thus good in keeping their digestive tracts healthy and regular. Put the water in a large, heavy shallow dish for your rabbit to drink from, and it won't knock the dish over as it moves inside the cage. Take note that captive bred rabbits are not as calm and friendly the minute they arrive home. But you can turn your nervous and skittish pet into a calm, friendly and docile pet when you take time to train it. It would help a lot if you train and interact with your day after day. Domesticated rabbits are social animals and will need a companion or companions. Take your pet to the vet because it needs vaccinations, tests, and a clean bill of health before this may be allowed to socialize with other pets and with you and your family. Take note of different signs of illness in rabbits, and for any symptom, take your pet rabbit to the vet at once. American Fuzzy Lops are not carnivorous and are herbivores, which means that these will only consume plants or plant parts like roots, flowers, twigs, bark, leaves, stems, seeds and more. These will also eat rabbit pellets and produce. American Fuzzy Lops are herbivorous, and they will eat plants. These will eat all plant parts, and in captivity, they can eat commercially prepared rabbit food, vegetables, and fruits. American Fuzzy Lops can eat fruits and vegetables, just chop these into tiny pieces. Aside from these, you may also feed your American Fuzzy Lops pellets or rabbit food, which contains nutrients that your pet will need daily. American Fuzzy Lops are not endangered. There are American Fuzzy Lops available from local and international breeders and in pet shops and human homes kept as pets. Never pick a wild animal like a rabbit from the forest. You won't be able to tame it and make it your pet because it will remain wild. If you find an injured rabbit, you may call animal services for help. You won't find American Fuzzy Lops in the wild because these are domesticated rabbits. These prefer to live in human areas and commercial areas, including breeding kennels, pet stores, and human homes. For American Fuzzy Lop pets, these may be placed in large cages indoors or outdoors in groups for companionship. Like all rabbit breeds, American Fuzzy Lops will eat their poop because these still have nutrients in them. 
but after consuming their poop once, they won't do it next time. It's unknown why rabbits do this, and you can avoid this by removing the rabbit droppings as soon as you spot them. You can prevent a rabbit from eating poop by removing the droppings right away after these defecate. But you have better things to do than watch your rabbits 24-7. And no matter what, these will still eat their dropping because they know that it still has nutrients in them. If you want to take care of baby American fuzzy lobs, put the babies in a comfortable and warm enclosure. Give them soft, pureed food, and keep these safe and warm all the time. Babies are born blind and deaf and, therefore vulnerable. You must protect these from predators. For wild bunnies, call animal services to have these rescued. You may allow a rabbit to stay indoors but under your constant supervision. You must use a portable fence to cover areas that the rabbit is not allowed to go. You must rabbit-proof your home before you set your rabbits free. American fuzzy lop bites could be dangerous because these rabbits may have rabies. Rabbit teeth may also be huge, and this can tear off the flesh and lead to an infected, deep wound. Despite its size, an American fuzzy lop may escape their cage by kicking or knocking it down. These are too small to jump over but will use force to escape and may even destroy their cages if these are made of light materials. The location of your pet's cage may depend on your preference. Indoors, you can protect it from the elements, but the cage may be too be small and may not be enough for several American fuzzy lops. When you place the cage outdoors, the rabbits may need to bear the cold, but at least they have a large area for playing, running, and socializing. When the teeth of a rabbit grow longer, it can pierce its mouth and gums, and this can lead to extreme pain and poor appetites. This is why your pet rabbit must see a dentist yearly. Feed it hay since this can grind their teeth short as the rabbit eagerly chews. Rabbits should get a checkup at least twice a year. Young rabbits must be vaccinated against rabbit diseases as early as they can wean from their mother. Rabbits need to have an initial visit to a vet when they are just a few weeks old. Rabbits should get a checkup at least twice a year. Young rabbits must be vaccinated against rabbit diseases as early as they can wean from their mother. Rabbits need to have an initial visit to a vet when they are just a few weeks old. Experts say that American fuzzy lops are just like all rabbits. This may become territorial when these are kept in a small enclosure. The males can develop aggressive behavior and may become very dangerous to other males during the breeding season. You can keep an American fuzzy lop as a pet because this rabbit is docile and sweet. It is a good pet for families but not those with small children because of the small size and grooming needs of this rabbit breed. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.